What do you think of when you think of the space race? Laker the space dog. Go Laker. The man on the moon. How about Mary Sherman Morgan? Hold up. Who's she? Well, in 1921, Mary was born in North Dakota on a rural farm. Yeehaw! Moving swiftly on. She didn't go to school till she was eight from when she had to juggle schoolwork and farm chores. She graduated high school at 19 and ran away. Dun, dun, dun! To Minot State University to study chemistry. However, she didn't complete the degree as World War II broke out and she began to work at Plumbrook Ordnance Work Munitions as a chemical analyst. After the war, she started working in North American aviation, where she was the only woman amongst 900 male engineers. But what about the space race? Hold up, I'm coming back to that. The Russians were racing ahead, having already launched a satellite into space, while the Americans were not doing so well. They were still struggling with blowing up their rockets when they were trying to propel them, and the ones they managed to didn't have good enough fuel to actually get into orbit. So the task fell onto Mary, because she knew propellants inside out. Go, go! Leading a team, she developed a rocket fuel cocktail called Hydine, which she wanted to call Bagel. What? Hydine was a mixture of 60% of a fuel called UDMH and 40% of another called DETA for short, that was finally powerful enough to launch America's first satellite, Explorer 1, into orbit. Woohoo! After having succeeded, she retreated into home life, not seeking any of the recognition she rightfully deserved, almost becoming lost in history. However, at her funeral, one of her colleagues came up to her son and said that she single-handedly saved the American space program and nobody knows it but a handful of old men. So her son, George Morgan, and now us, set about telling her story to the world.